Hello there, welcome to Toronto Cathedral and to uh, one of my favourite places in the cathedral, uh, the Cathedral's West Gallery. And we're here again for one of our regular moments of biblical interpretation, uh, biblical reflection and prayer. And we're going to read today from the book of Revelation, chapter 3, beginning to read at the 14th verse. And this is uh, the New Testament reading for morning prayer on Friday the 6th of November. And to the angel of the church in louder cheer write the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the origin of God's creation. I know your works, you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. You do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. Therefore I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white robes to clothe you, and to keep the shame of your nakedness from being seen, and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. I reprove and discipline those whom I love. Be earnest therefore and repent. Listen, I am standing at the door, knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come into you and eat with you and you with me. To the one who conquers, I will give a place with me on my throne just as I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. By the time you uh, hear this reading, then uh, the nation will be in full lockdown again. And we will uh, be remaining in full lockdown until uh, December the 2nd. But I've come into the Cathedral Church today just to reiterate to you that there is a real considerable difference between uh, what happened uh, the last time uh, lockdown occurred and what is happening this time. And one of those real differences is that uh, our churches are not closing uh, they are able to remain open for the business at least of private prayer and we will be doing also all that we can to uh, broadcast to you uh, the best services we can from this place in coming weeks. So the cathedral will remain open from 10am uh, to 3pm and uh, as the cathedral remains open you will also uh, have the opportunity to come here to spend some time in prayer, uh, to light a candle and indeed uh, even uh, speak to somebody at uh, the appropriate social distance if uh, you have a particular uh, spiritual concern or wish to discuss any other matter. I'm really delighted that this has happened. We've just heard a reading about the perils of being a lukewarm Christian and uh, I try and avoid the judgment seat whenever I can uh, but a little bit of me feels that the last time round uh, we were a little bit uh, lukewarm in our response to this virus in allowing uh, the church and its operation to be closed down uh, quite in the way uh, that it was. I say that uh, knowing that each and every single day I pray for those uh, both in the world and church who carry the great burden of leadership. Decisions made on other people's behalf are really very difficult decisions to make and, uh, and I do pray that they uh, receive God's guidance and wisdom in their decision making. This time round, uh, the leaders of the churches, the leaders of faith groups across our nation have been a little more robust in saying that 
places like this have a real part to play in people's lives and uh, easily closing them uh, despite the risks that are out there uh, will have uh, for some people a knock-on effect in terms of their well-being. We do do everything here to uh, keep as safe as we can and to keep others as safe as we can. Uh, I'm delighted that we have an opportunity in all of this uh, not to be lukewarm and to uh, try uh, through God's grace to be a symbol of hope to others in this uh, time of lockdown. I'd like to finish with just a really simple prayer about hope. Uh, the hope we find in faith. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope is even in Thee. In Thee, O Lord, have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. Amen. Do come on your wanderings and on your exercise to spend a little time here. And while you are here, contemplate some of those great questions of life. <laughs>